Why in the world do I need all these scuba certifications? Well, I'm going to tell you, and the answer is going to shock you. I really wanted to get it right Trying to find some balance in my life But I never really put up a fight Didn't follow my dreams Nomadic Nonsense! Welcome to the second episode of Nomadic Nonsense. First, I want to thank everyone so much for all your views, subscriptions, likes, comments on episode one released two weeks ago. In case you haven't seen it, I'm going to post a link right here. Honestly, I had no idea what to expect after uploading it, since I've never done a vlog before. I knew that I wanted to do the best job that I possibly could, but there's so much to do, so much to learn, that I spent the last eight months filming, setting up our social media accounts, Nomadic Nonsense merch store, affiliate links, and learning everything that I possibly could on how to grow a travel vlog on YouTube. There's still so much to learn. And I'm really excited to continue to grow my skills with each and every episode. I was absolutely blown away from all the views, comments, likes, and feedbacks from our last video. Some of you even helped support the channel by buying us a coffee, which was absolutely incredible. Being here from the beginning, you're going to be able to see how things progress. I'm learning something new every day and I cannot wait to see how this community grows. In this episode, I finished my open water. I go on to get my advanced open water, deep dive spec, nitrox, and even rescue diver certifications. You're also going to find out my plans and why I'm getting all these scuba certifications. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps YouTube to promote us to even more people. Please check out our merchandise store with the links in the description below. We're always adding new products. In fact, today I just created two really cool phone cases. So if you want to see what gear we're using during our travels, I've also listed that down in the descriptions below along with Amazon affiliate links. Well, enough talking. Let's get back to preparing to leave the United States and start this incredible journey. Thank you again. We're here at uh, De Leon Springs. Week end two, day three, scuba certification. Today we go in the pool, but we're going much, much deeper. We're gonna sit at about 30 feet for most of the day. And then tomorrow we go to Rainbow River, uh, where we're gonna be diving off of boats and uh, hopefully just enjoying the dive. What's up everybody, that's day three in the books, baby, in the books. Uh, we're going to Rainbow River tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to head over there that way tonight, get a hotel room. But uh, tomorrow's supposed to be a lot of fun. A lot of beautiful stuff to see. Um, you guys can Google it, Rainbow River uh, in Florida. But thank you guys for checking everything out, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.
After that weekend, I completed my open water certification, and despite my disability, I didn't require any additional assistance or specialized training. It was that weekend that I knew that I caught the scuba bug. But more importantly, I had found my true passion, and I figured out what I wanted to do next. See, I had found out that weekend from my instructor that had I needed any additional assistance outside the normal scuba training, they wouldn't have been able to train me. They would have had to call in a specialized instructor, one who has been certified to train people with disabilities per their regulations to help me to complete my training. The very idea that I could have been possibly turned away and denied this incredible experience would have crushed me. So right then and there, I knew that I, what I wanted to do. I wanted to become a scuba instructor, but not just any instructor. I want to help other disabled people who want to learn how to dive to do it safely. I want to give them the gift that Elite Scuba gave me by spending countless of hours with me, working with me, giving me encouragement, and the knowledge that I needed to keep completing one course after the next to help me get closer to my goal. So for the next two months, I dove over 50 dives, got my advanced open water dive, full face, nitrox, deep diver, and even my rescue diver with first aid and oxygen administration certificates. And I passed all of them with flying colors. I am on a mission. I didn't have time before leaving the United States to start my dive master program, so I started that in Indonesia, and I'm currently finishing it up here in Thailand, where I will most likely get my instructor certifications as well. Here are some highlights from these courses and dives during the next three months prior for me leaving the United States for Indonesia. Thank you so much and enjoy. Good morning. Today marks the first day of my advanced open water training by Elite Scuba. What's basically going to happen is we're going to Paradise Springs in Ocala, Florida. It's basically a big hole in the ground. Um, it's a natural spring, so it's fresh water. And essentially, we're going to be going 100 feet down. And we're going to be doing three dives today. So three dives at 100 feet, it's going to be absolutely terrifying. Um, but I'm excited. I have some of the best instructors in the business. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's going to be fun. It's going to be terrifying. It's going to be incredible. I would say it's a success. Today I'm at the world famous Blue Heron Bridge in uh, Florida. It's going to be a shallow dive, but some amazing, amazing uh, marine life is going to be there. There's seahorses, there's lionfish, there's starfish, there's all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna go down, take a look at it. It's gonna, it's gonna be a long dive. It's probably gonna be, we're gonna probably be down about a good hour, hour 10, hour 15 minutes. We're gonna walk right in and go scuba diving. So we'll, uh, I'll see you guys on the other side.
morning, everyone. So we're here at the Hudson Grotto. Um, I don't even know what city we're in, but this place is an absolute nightmare. I'm gonna take my camera. Whether or not we see footage or any kind of footage, I, I, I have no idea. Uh, this is such murky water. It's got uh, such horrific conditions. I have no idea why we're diving here. My instructors, whom I trust with my life, tell me that I will never dive under these conditions again. So if I can handle these kind of conditions, then I should be good. Hudson Grotto in Florida. May God have mercy on me. I know my destiny. I'm uh, getting ready to get my first COVID vaccine. I'm in Florida, Kissimmee, Florida. This place literally looks like a war zone. They have cops everywhere, people directing people. I think you just stay in your car and you get a shot in the arm. But uh, it's kind of scary, not gonna lie. I have to fill out a form right now. And as soon as I'm done with the form, apparently I go through this line and they stick me with the needle. So we'll see. So far, so good. I mean, I'm here, I'm getting the first dose. I'm gonna have to come back, I guess, in like 21 days or something like that to get the second dose, but this place is at like a community center slash church, and it's a little creepy that they have, the church has lined this road with all kinds of Bible verses, um, and it's a little scary. So they just put something on my car, some sort of number on my car. Now I'm, uh, I'm definitely getting closer. I'm probably within, I don't know, eight cars away from the tents. So if you experience body ache, it's a flu-like symptom. It's normal for three days. After three days, see your doctor, okay? Okay. All right, you ready? Yep. Ow! Come on! <laughs> All right, so uh, that's it. Vaccine number one is down. Uh, now I have to sit here for 10 minutes and I guess I wait for any kind of symptoms or if I'm gonna die, I guess I'm gonna die within the first 10 minutes. So I had a missed opportunity there that would have been amazing. Uh, after the 10 minutes, the guy comes up to my car and he goes, how you feeling, man? <laughs> I wish I would have had a, a thing of Alka-Seltzer in my mouth foaming, freaking out, I, uh, but I missed that opportunity. So if you're ever going to get your COVID test, get some Alka-Seltzer if you want a good laugh. It'll be funny. Trust me. After I got my COVID vaccination that day, I drove directly to Deleon Springs again to complete my rescue diver course. To date, no other course or dive has done more to test my limits than this course has. I was so sore at the end of the day that I couldn't tell if I was sore from the COVID shot or from just being beat up by the training that Ron gave me from Elite Scuba. Again, if you were thinking about scuba diving or wanting to advance your skills in any way, I cannot recommend Elite Scuba enough. They are absolutely incredible. Thank you again for watching and if you liked the video, please do us a favor and like, comment, and subscribe. It helps us more than you know. Also, don't forget to follow Nomadic Nonsense on Instagram. Until next time, safe travels.